Well, that's it's like something. therapy too, right? Like if you go to good classes, and even if it's not class, you know, on set in a deep role, it can be therapeutic, or at least if not therapeutic, like you said, you're having to delve into deep aspects of human psychology and wiring, and you start to sort of see things from different perspectives. And I think there's there's a lot of value in that for everybody. I think you know there, there's that Hugh Jackman quote where he said he thinks everybody should do an acting class at least once in their life. Yeah. Um, just because of what it opens you up to. And, and I think it is a bug if you do a good class. You know, if you go into a good space, you can really get hooked to that. And then from there, it's like, watch out because you're in it for life if you're not careful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 100% true. Um, so I guess it was really that that kind of just brought me back around into it. Uh... And I think one thing that's pretty clear um, from what you've been talking about with the musical theater and even before that, and then retraining or training in, in an acting space is that idea of training, right? And like, I know you've gone to other schools since. Obviously, we met at a different studio at AMAW in London. Uh, now in LA, you're doing even more training and always kind of sharpening those tools. So that's obviously really important to you. Um, I think sometimes not everybody sees the, maybe sees the value, if that's the right word, of, of training as an actor. Um, so it'd be cool if you maybe could speak to that a little bit, you know, your experience of, of training in that discipline and then how, how valuable you actually think it is, especially for new people starting out, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, the, what you said off the bat is a discipline. I mean, I think that like, that's the first thing is like, you know, how disciplined can you be about what it is that you want to do and bring value to, you know, like if you want to bring value to something, you need to practice it like almost pretty much daily. So to go to a class once a week is one part. <laughs> But also, like, I guess on top of that, speaking like of like what it does, uh, you know, in self-development terms, um, go into a, a weekly acting class. It, it's just self-discovery. And the thing is about us as human beings is that we, you know, what I keep learning about, like, there, there is not, the well is not like, uh, there's no stopping point. It's infinite. Like, you, you keep swimming down into these depths. The deeper you go, the more amazing it gets. It's not like it's like it gets dark and scary. There are definitely dark and scary parts you go down into, but like to consistently show up in a space every week to kind of just have this openness about how deep you want to go is, I mean, that's how you bring value to every set you walk on or every audition you come into is like how open you are to going further, de further and deeper with yourself expressively understanding, uh, you know, human interactions, how we, interact on the surface but what's really going on the underneath it changes all the time like i think like you know i mean look you know i think us being in this space right now and I, how long i've known you and how long you've known me if we track ourselves back for however long when we first met each other to now it's like well how you know there are still things in us that are like exactly the same because you know things are relatable but there is still going to be ways of how we deal with each other or other people that are probably most likely very completely different to how yeah you know, and and that's now. that's life experiences as well is a huge thing i think that was going to be my sort of next question really which is there's one thing i suppose which is going deep in the work and committing to working in that capacity in a class or with a script for a film but then there's that other side of it which is not the work you do implicitly in those spaces but just what's happening in your life and what kind of life are you living to to broaden your horizons and enrich who you are as a person right because if you don't have that then you don't really have the most well-rounded stories to tell or you're going to be limited in your viewpoint on it so mm. that's evolved for me over time for sure as we get older i guess we we get wiser if that's the word to use what's your take on that like at what point do you feel that the training and the life experiences go either hand in hand or maybe perhaps the life experiences start to even take on a little bit more weight yeah, yeah so that's a really good question uh i don't know if this is answering it i'm just going to kind of spitball off of that because i don't tr they're two they can be two very separate things if you let them be 
one can always influence the other. I, 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 okay, these are my thoughts. This is going to be kind of like, for the first thing that came to me really is that like, I feel like my life experience, my life experience informs my acting way more than any training ever could. Yeah. Like that, that, that is where I, I feel like, and the more that I move throughout life, and the more that I am challenging myself to be open, honest, authentic, and have curiosity, mainly being the, the you know, uh, that being the main pin, yeah. if you, uh, that influences more opportunity to explore in my acting. Um, however, also training, it depends because if you start to kind of look at things in terms of genre, and what's being asked of you. And then sometimes about, and this is about actually about people, because this could be also a certain room, uh, you know, writers, executives, directors, whoever can maybe expect a certain something of you in a certain genre. So it's also kind of like, that's kind of just get, that's like the cerebral part It's like you gain the knowledge. We watch shows and we understand things. Whereas I think there are certain types of training that can really help gear you towards that and also provide material that gears you towards that. I think that's like an extra edge that you can get as an actor because you can still walk authentically into a space and really own it and have that energy where people will really love you, you know, and because you love yourself enough to be there and bring all your life experience to the table. But then there's that extra edge as well. So I think it, there is still this balance. For me, I guess today is really about how can I bring myself within the capacity of the genre? Like really fully, you know, and, and, have those people on the other side understand that I understand story, but understand how to bring myself to it, you know? That's key. And I think that sounds really easy, but I think we all know that that takes a lot of time. And, and again, that discipline word of being able to do that. And I think, yeah, look, f from my point of view, I'm, I'm with you. I think there's a fusion of life experiences and, and training or good training. I keep saying good training because you probably like me have had bad training as well. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I think the way I see it is it's kind of like your life experiences are all the different ingredients. So the more life experience you have, the more ingredients you can play with. But then the training gives you all the different tools to make the dish with. And so it's sort of like, you know, I need to have a sharp knife or a blender or, you know, a certain kind of, um, you know, pan to put in the oven. And that comes with, different training approaches and you know which one to use at which time but then at the same point if i've only got three ingredients to play with maybe i want to add more in or at least then i want to know well those are my three and i'm going to make sure i can do the best fucking dish i can with the three that i got it's a really yeah. weird analogy <laughs> I, like, I like it it you makes know, sense like to me much. 